I have no idea what to expect with this article. I don't know what Joe's up there shambling about, and neither does he if we're being completely honest. But according to the headline, Biden asks Congress to end social media immunity. Okay, that'd be great, but what do you mean by that? Because I know the power that you have, especially because your administration's open communications with the different heads of the big tech corporations. So what are you getting at here? Okay, what do you, what do you, what's your angle on this, Joe? At White House Summit on Hate-Fueled Violence. Oh, okay, great. So this is just going to be another attack. Oh, white supremacy is one of the biggest threats. It is the biggest threat that's out there. Cool. How many Twitter videos can I pull up of? Oh, there's been one that's been making the rounds, which I can't show, which would just obviously get this video either taken down for inciting violence, or it would just at least get age restricted. The one white kid who gets his head run into what looks like a school shower wall and then gets fucking dog walked by some big brown kid. And I think they're yelling white boy at him at the same time. It's legitimate hate filled racist violence, but that's against the white kids. So is that really racist? racism it is it is don't get it fucking twisted or anything like that that's legitimate racism but not for that side though because you can't be racist to the people in power or whatever the fuck it is but again how far does that extend or white people the oppressors everywhere in the world i know in their opinion it is but then when you take a look at the demographics of the world and realize that white people aren't even close to being in a position to hold a plurality oh my god but whatever but whatever it's probably going to be as stupid of his interpretation as what Joe Biden's pushing for right here. At a summit at the White House on Thursday. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he, I think he just, at least at the time of recording, he got he flew out to QE2's the funeral or some shit like that. Or he's landing a helicopter. Well, not him specifically. Fuck, I wouldn't even trust him behind the wheel of a scooter, let alone a helicopter, but... He got flued out there, so. But he was talked about. Er, but he was talking about hate-fueled violence. Oh, okay, cool. So I wonder if his speech from the beginning of the month is going to get taken down. Anyways, uh, President Joe Biden denounced white supremacists. Oh my God, it's always that. I just listened to uh, an interview by a guy who went through the Florida judicial system. Uh, he went through a bunch of different prisons, a bunch of fed places as well. And he was talking about the different gangs that run the different places in Florida. I think it was specifically Florida. And he was talking about all the top gangs that are in there, like the Bloods, Gangster Disciples, all that type of stuff. And the guys, the smallest, the smallest group or the smallest gang in the prison systems, far and away the Aryan Brotherhood, okay? The guys with the fucking swastika tattoos, the exclusively white guys that are there. Like, for all this push by, for to end white supremacy, okay, it's been effectively ended. Congratulations. It's like trying to eradicate smallpox. Noble, noble cause, but wrong time, wrong place. Biden also called on Americans to, uh, oh, at large to speak out against racism and extremism at the event. You first. Uh, dubbed the United We Stand Summit. Okay, cool. But it was for White House officials all together in a little room. How fucking hilarious. Uh, which was attended by bipartisan local leaders, experts, and survivors of hate-based violent attacks. Oh my god. I'd imagine it was probably just a bunch of people just saying, Oh my god, we need to stop Asian hate. Ah, oh, we need to stop whatever the fucking trendy hashtag you could have out there. The event sought to counter the destructive effects of hate-fueled violence on our democracy and public safety, mobilize diverse sectors of society. This sounds like just such fucking babble. And communities across the country to these dangers and put forward a shared, inclusive, bipartisan vision of a more united America. Why is Biden doing this? Wait, again, did... What does social media have to do with any of this stuff? If these people have actually faced violent attacks, uh, how? Like, I know Twitter is actual cancer and it might end up helping develop a brain tumor, but actual, like, real world, you know, fucking bruises, cuts, slaps, or smacks, I don't think it does that. And as atrocious as some of the captions on some of those Instagram posts from some of those thoughts that are out on the Explore page, it's not really anything that'll actually harm you because you can just as easily do that as you can to click off a fucking page. So I, I, make this make sense, Joe. This, that's a lofty ask, especially for a man is intellectually dexterous as Uncle Joe. All forms of hate fueled uh, by violence have no place in America. What if hate fuels something else? Is that allowed? Uh, or violence that isn't violence by nature just kind of predicated on hatred at least of some form or fashion so sounds like you aren't really addressing the root problem here but okay 
president said at a Thursday summit, recalling various attacks, including a mass shooting at Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida of 2016. Oh my God, he's just going to bring up fucking Charlottesville. Like, come on, just get it out in the open with. And another at a supermarket in Buffalo earlier this year. Majority black people that were shot at that. Okay, by a guy who live streamed it on the internet who was uh, concerned about the great replacement theory. Nice cherry picking your examples. Cool. Now do the trans kid that shot up the fucking parade in Illinois. How about that one? White supremacists will not have the last word, Biden said before leaving the stage. Oh, anyways, uh, without mentioning any groups that have incited violence and hatred in the United States in recent years. 60 years? <laughs> when did Robert Byrd die? Because that was about the last time the KKK was relevant in any form or fashion. Uh, Biden briefly mentioned the events of January 6th. Oh, white supremacy at January 6th. Yes. Because they're never, ever, ever going to fucking let it go. But every time that leftists decide to storm any fucking federal buildings, oh, not a goddamn word about that. And that is a marketing failure by Republicans that are out there. Because all of the, the Kavanaugh hearings, okay, that was what, 2017 or 2018 when all of those state houses including the u.s capitol was stormed and those offices were filled by a bunch of piss stinking blue-haired feminists oh yeah imagine that huh don't want to talk about that don't want to bring that up or when roe v wade got overturned and i think it was the state house in wisconsin that got sieged yeah nothing not fucking word one about that but oh a retard in a buffalo hat ended up showing up at the Capitol on January 6th. And, oh my god, an Antifa agitator. Oh, shit. No. Oh, oh no. James Earl Sullivan. Oh, don't want to talk about him because he was uh, actually a CNN contributor. He was down there videotaping on the day. The terrible thing that happened. Worse than 9-11, I've heard some people say. Oh, yeah. Anyways, uh, saying that that event didn't reflect who we are as a nation. Yeah, it reflects six people who were let in by the Capitol Police. Oops. Uh, he contended that the United States has had law... Oh, has long had a through line of hatred and you've been there to proceed over 50 fucking years of it and you've done what about it so far anyways against minority groups oh really oh okay cool violence only matters depending on your skin tone i understand joe and that politics and the media have given it too much oxygen in recent years oh okay cool joe your messaging is all over the fucking place the democrats he Oh, said he wants Congress to hold social media accountables. Oh, companies accountable for spreading hatred. Okay, cool. Can we just go and take a look at what's actually like trending right now? Ah, oh, this is just going to end up giving up the ghost as to what specific date I'm recording this on. But, eh, you know, it's been a couple of days ago. Anyways, uh, Trudeau must go. Oh, okay. And this is Canada, by the way. So it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, UFC, the Vegas 60. Whatever the fuck that means at this point. Uh, Martha for Martha's Vineyard. Okay. Because again, people on uh, Twitter are too retarded to put the apostrophe S in Vineyard. So, uh, word, I have no idea what that is. Uh, Ty Cats, that's a thing. Uh, DeSantis, 640,000 tweets. I'm sure every single one of those is really nice and supportive of Ron DeSantis. You should arrest them for human trafficking. Oh, okay, cool. But it, it sucks when Ron DeSantis uh, puts 48 fucking illegal aliens on, Ra on Martha's Vineyard. But when Joe Biden flews them out from the border to your flyover states, that's totally fine. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Catter Day, Batman Day, Batman Day, Brian Baker, Striplin, ah, Romano. Oh, not that. No, oh, no, not that one. Uh, Logan Paul. Oh, somebody who should uh, experience some violence. Okay, I understand. Yeah, not a lot of violence I'm seeing today. But yeah, of course. But if you click on any other, you know trending topic on the day you'll get a whole bunch of insightful information especially from twitter though with all of their trusted sources that give you one uh, one opinion on the subject and you got to take that as the fucking spoken gospel all the seals stood up and clapped apparently i'm calling on congress to get rid of special immunity for, for social media companies and impose much stronger transparency requirements on all all of them Biden said, alluding to Section 230. It's actually not a bad idea, but I know what you tried to use it for. Okay, specific carve-outs in order to get rid of white people online. I understand what you're doing here because you're couching this all in white supremacy has no place online. I agree. It's just not a big enough issue to spend or rather put that much emphasis on right now.
Publishers can be held liable for any content they post while social media platforms are protected by Section 230 of the Commu Communications Decency Act, a federal law that shields online companies from liability related to content posted by users in particular. Part of the law states that no provider or user of uh, an interactive computer service shall be treated as the publisher or speaker or of any information provided by another information content provider. Yeah, it's almost like you should properly define the current big tech platforms. You should just uh, either classify them as publishers because let's be fucking honest, that's exactly what they are with their different terms of service. Or you should just revoke those terms of service and if they're headquartered in the United States, you adhere to the constitution and just simply become a provider like the electric company and the water company, all of that stuff. The Biden administration has repeatedly called for revoking section 230 and has supported ramping up antitrust and transparency enforcement on technology companies, some of which currently allows users to post anonymously as it should be. The fucking internet should be for everybody, okay? Regardless of what the fuck you want to do, I just don't want the government to be looking over it because you know exactly what they would be doing. Curating the experience so that it would look like the net of China. FBI said in 2021 that hate crimes in the United States hit a 12-year high in 2020. Cool. When everybody was locked down, there was more hate crimes? Weird. Against what groups, what kind of acts are we talking about here? Or was it just interesting comments left on people's posts like what, what are we talking about the department of justice said it would increase efforts to counter it cool uh, the fbi was going to do something i wonder if they followed up on it no nah, they just decided to raid a president's house uh the biden administration on thursday announced what appears to be a plethora of initiatives oh boy for the public and private sectors to address hate motivated violence it, that included a billion dollar investment of course it just involves more taxpayer money in order to do shit that's just going to micromanage your life more Congratulations. Uh, to be pushed uh, by a group of philanthropists called New Pluralists. Oh, how adorable. You're just going to enrich your friends and then they're just going to tell you what to think and feel. How adorable. Uh, to have a founder, oh, funder support a 10-year effort to build a culture of respect. I hate all of this. Belonging and collaboration in communities and organizations across America. Oh, my God. And stand behind the essential work of courageous uniters, healers, and bridgers. Oh, my God. I wish you'd find a bridger and jumper offer it. Attorney General Merrick Garland announced at, a sum oh, at the summit that all 94 United States attorneys' offices would work on a United Against Hate initiative over 2023. Great, that's exactly what I want to see Merrick Garland do. Listen, bro, if you're not working on Fig Newtons, I, I don't want to fucking hear from you. Little Keebler elf looking motherfucker. It's funnier when you explain the joke. E <laughs> Earlier this year, our United States Attorney's Office for Massachusetts, New Jersey, and the Eastern District of Washington complete, oh, yeah, completed a United Against Hate pilot programs. Oh, great. And all of those liberal fucking shitholes. Because the eastern part of Washington, if that's Washington State, I would imagine that's what we're talking about here. That involves Seattle. Okay. So yeah, this is just going to be more anti-white shit. Let's just fucking call it exactly what it is. And today I'm pleased to announce that the initiative will expand to 16 more United States attorney's offices and will launch in all 94 attorney's offices uh, within the next year. Yay, wonderful. Clap for the incoming social credit score. Meanwhile, the Department of Treasury's Office of Terrorism and Financial Intelligence is developing a website of key reports and resources on financing domestic violent extremism uh, to help inform the public and private sectors. And you know what are uh, labeled domestic violent, uh, violent extremists? Uh, that would be parents that speak out at PTA meetings. And that was authorized by Merrick Garland, who's also wanting to censor the Internet. How adorable. Treasury will also undertake strategic engagement in regional financial institutions across the United States. Oh, great. So now they're just going to seize your bank accounts. How adorable uh, to discuss risks associated with financing domestic violent extremism. So as soon as you just label them with that nebulous term, then they can just start turning everything off at a fucking moment's notice. Oh, you get banned on Twitter. Ah, oh, it's just a prelude to getting banned on Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, HSBC, Bank of America. TD, all of it just gone at a moment's notice because you're, we don't stand with financing extremism. So we're just going to need to deperson you. That's what they're doing here. This is announcing the social credit score. Let's fucking keep it a stack. Someone at the White House also featured announcements from tech companies like, oh, the ones that they openly collaborate with YouTube, Twitch, Microsoft, and Meta. Oh, so all of the information platforms, how awesome of 
Oh, of actions they're taking to combat violent extremism online. What do you even mean by that? And again, how can you be hurt physically, violently online? I want to know. Not that I want to do it. I just want to avoid it because I also want to be protected because I'm a fucking thin-skinned bitch. Biden administration said that, uh, but advancements in digital technologies, including social media and other online platforms, have also led to unintended consequences like what? Please cite your sources. Uh, the unintended consequences included the spread of violent extremist uh, ideologies and the mobilization of violence for which the technology sector must bear responsibility. Yes, those evil, dirty MAGA Republicans with all of their banned message boards, like the one r slash Donald that ended up getting banned and then they had to create their own platform or like kiwi farms who again just likes to talk about internet lol cows and then ended up getting shut down and deplatformed because some power thirsty tranny decided to run amok online Americans uh, know how the internet can fuel hate, misogyny, of course, hate, misogyny, and abuse with spillover effects that threaten our, our safety of our communities offline. Yeah, but if you want to be openly misandrist, uh, just go ahead. Twitter, in fact, endorses that shit. And hatred? Yeah, just go ahead and just hate on white people till your heart's content. Or whatever the next subsection that are just going to get white or lumped into being internalizing their whiteness. Like Larry Elder, the white face or the black face of white supremacy. Unfucking believable. LA Times, that will, I hope that is imprinted on your fucking tombstone when you guys ultimately fail. YouTube said, oh God, among other actions, what else are you doing to cripple us? Uh, it will remove content glorifying violent acts for the purpose of inspiring others to commit harm like what what are you talking about eventually getting rid of gun review channels because that could be used eventually to just shoot up a black church i know it okay i know it fundraise or recruit even if the creators of such content are not related or desi or oh to a designated terrorist group oh great so just more ability for youtube to demonetize deplatform and deperson you how awesome Meta, formerly Facebook, uh, and also everything that's under their umbrella as well, will engage in new research partnerships uh, with the Middlebury Institute of International Studies Center on Terrorism. Oh, it's a very long name, so you know it's good. Extremism and Counterterrorism, CTEC. Okay, the research will analyze trends in violent extremism. Yes, if your auntie posts a boomer meme that... Uh, says trump won um she'll be labeled a, a violent extremist and she won't be able to bake anything for the upcoming family potluck because she's been canceled from her banks uh twitch oh god what are they just gonna do put amaranth on the front page of her bouncing around in a fucking kiddie pool how adorable a live streaming platform owned by amazon look at all these big tech companies oh we're just oh we got a leader summit we got all the big tech companies but we got we want you guys to do something otherwise we'll get rid of your protections and then just put in worse protections okay uh set to release a new tool to accelerate its ongoing commitment to deterring hate that won't affect any of our top streamers okay you could be like uh who was it somebody uh i think they just ended up serving their seven day suspension for fucking on stream fucking on stream seven day suspension don't worry don't do it again you make us enough bits and i don't know fucking super chats and some i don't know what the fuck twitch has i don't watch it i'm not five years old oh, i'm sorry that's a little young for there target audience uh it's like 60 percent of the audience is under the age of 18 yeah exactly and yet you'll have porn stars on there playing fucking video games and then just answering questions about length or girth <laughs> uh but anyways uh they've got tools to empower its streamers and communities to help counter hate and harass uh, so just more bans okay just eventually just have a fucking blank screen with whatever influencer we have put it in front of you just watch don't interact no more chat no more like buttons no more down votes we already got rid of that shit all you can do is just subscribe and press a button it says that you can like it. it says that you can downvote it okay otherwise it just goes off into the fucking ab abyss just sit and consume just watch whoever they want to put in front of you on twitch it'll be amaranth and hassan on youtube it'll be the fucking paul brothers and I, I don't know who else is on here who ain't worth a fucking damn some fucking nonsense react channel that's just oh, that's really funny i just gotta press this, press this button stop it every once in a while and then just tell you to like share comment and subscribe fuck off you keep wanting to crack down on everybody else guess what man i love rumble a lot of people love rumble and you're just making us more inclined to exclusively post over there hey man you want to continue to restrict our shit you don't want to actually tackle the real fucking problems that are affecting people out there bet we'll just stop caring about what the fuck you're doing and then we'll just see how many empty chairs you can continue to fucking yell at before people go 
that's the most popular president of all time? Hmm, funny thing about that. But with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.